Hello everyone, this is Drew Beckman, Northwestern Illinois Field Agronomist here with Beck's Hybrids. And as you can see, uh, we're actually starting to get a little bit of graying off here in uh, northern Livingston County, uh, where it's just right down the road here from my house on our home farm. And really we're looking at a forecast that may allow for some corn planting over the next few weeks in my territory. I really wanted to take a moment to talk about what I consider the most important factors and really the most important important free factors when we look at planting corn throughout my territory. So what do I mean by free? Well, really that comes down to really getting our basics right. Well, the two biggest basics that I can think of in corn planting come down to fuel condition and planting depth. So first of all, with fuel condition, we know that we need to achieve that picket fence stand with corn. We need to have a very consistent emergence. And one of the best ways that we get that is putting that corn in as good of a growing condition to begin with as we possibly can. So as we're looking at a planting dates that may be a little bit later than what we originally anticipated in say, middle to late March when we had such beautiful weather and conditions were fantastic, we need to remember that we need to wait for these fields potentially to get ready and get where we want them to be. When we look at the PFR planting date data um, that we have from over the last 20 plus years, we see that the April 16th through the 30th, we have the highest probability of success and highest corn yield. But that's followed very closely by the early of May, early or beginning of May. So again, not pushing these, this corn and planting it in subpar conditions that we will continue to fight through other agronomic issues all year long is extremely important. Following that, planting depth. So when we look at our PFR data around planting depth, we see that a two inch depth is optimal, but the deeper, the better, as far as if you're going to have to, to check between shallowing it up above two inches or pushing it down below. Personally, I've had a lot of guys come in and ask me or walk up to me and say, well, I'm planting it here, I'm planting it here. Is that deep enough? Well, really, again, we need to monitor that. We need to get out of our tractor. We need to walk and we need to check. And we need to check several different seeds. I have been on more service calls in my career around issues that came from planting depth, corn being planted too shallow, uh, and then having some root issues or feeding issues, different things like that, than I have ever been on calls. I've never really been on a call at all where corn was planted too deep. So again, we want to continue to monitor that as we're planting to make sure that we're having an even planting depth throughout all of our rows on our planters, but also just that our planting depth is deep enough um, that we're able to kind of maximize on the way that that, that seedling will emerge and the way that the corn plant will, will make a foundation. As always, if you have any questions, please reach out to myself or any part of the, uh, the Bex Agronomy or our sales team. Uh, and I also have a, a happy and safe planting and we look forward to continuing to work with you into 2024. Thank you.